objectives and safety. For safety, you must put on goggles, an apron, and wear shoes that cover the entire foot. Long pants are recommended. The objective is to determine the accuracy and precision of mass and volume measurements with common lab equipment. Accuracy is how closely a measurement agrees with a true or accepted value. Precision is how closely individual measurements agree with each other. Apparatus The apparatus used will be a 250ml beaker, a 50ml beaker, a 10ml graduated cylinder, a 30ml beaker, a funnel, a burette, a double clamp or a C-clamp, a top loading balance, a thermometer. You will also be provided with an unidentified metal. Procedure Part 1 at each balance, a standard mass of 20 to 50 grams will be present. Record the mass of the standard weight in your notebook. Make sure the balance is clean before proceeding. Place a piece of weighing paper on the balance pan and then tear the balance. Use the tongs provided to pick up and place the standard mass on the balance. Record the mass in grams up to three decimal places. Part 2a. In this part of the experiment, we will determine the true volume of water based on mass recorded and density. Water will be measured in degrees Celsius at room temperature. This will then help us determine the density of water at room temperature given by this chart. To calculate the volume, we will need the measurement of mass for 30 grams of water. Fill a large 250 ml beaker with water and let stand for 5 minutes. Weigh a small dry 50 ml beaker on a top loading balance. Record the mass. Add DI water from the large beaker to the 50 ml beaker until approximately 30 grams of water have been added. Record the new mass of the beaker and water. Read the volume of the water of the beaker and record this number as the observed volume. Empty the beaker and repeat this procedure two additional times. Calculate the true volume of water using recorded mass and density. Part 2b. Similar to part 2a, we will determine the true volume of water. To calculate the volume, we will need the measurement of mass for two grams of water. Weigh a dry 10 ml graduated cylinder on a top loading balance. Record the mass. Add approximately 5 grams of DI water from the large beaker to the graduated cylinder. Record the new mass of the cylinder and water. Read the volume of the water off the cylinder and record this number as the observed volume. Empty the cylinder and repeat this procedure two additional times. Calculate the true volume of water using recorded mass and density. Part 2c. Similar to part 2a, we will determine the true volume of water. Weigh a dry 30 ml beaker on a top loading balance. Set the beaker aside for later on this part of the experiment. Take a burette and carefully fasten it to the clamp on the stand as shown. Avoid over tightening as this may break the burette. Make sure the burette is closed. Fill the burette with DI water and let the water run to avoid air bubbles entrapped in the tip. Record the initial volume of the water in the burette. Deliver about 10 ml of water from the burette into the weighed dry 30 ml beaker. Record this volume as the final volume from the burette. 
the observed volume to be recorded will be the final volume minus the initial volume. Weigh the beaker with the water. Subtract the weight of the beaker from the weight of the beaker with water to get the mass of water. Calculate the true volume of water using recorded mass and density. Part 3. Weigh an empty 10 ml graduated cylinder. Add approximately 2 grams of DI water to the cylinder and record the total mass and observed volume. Do not empty the cylinder. Add an additional 2 grams DI water to the cylinder and record its new mass and observed volume. Repeat by adding 2 grams of water incrementally until a total of 10 grams of water have been added. Record the final volume and ma mass. These measurements will be used to plot a mass of water versus the volume. And this will give us a density of water. Part 4. Obtain a number metal unknown from your TA. Record a description of your metal sample. Measure and record the mass of your metal sample. Pour 20 to 25 ml of water into a 50 ml graduated cylinder. Record the volume to the nearest 0.1 ml. Tip the graduated cylinder and gently slide the metal sample until it is completely submerged in the water. Return the graduated cylinder to the upright position. Record the volume to the nearest 0.1 ml. Pour out the water and metal sample carefully. Completely dry the metal sample and repeat this procedure the second time. When you are finished, dry the metal sample and return it to the container you got it from. Use the mass and volume recorded to calculate density. Conclusions In part 1 we will see that the top loading balance is accurate to up to 3 decimal places. In part 2, we will notice that the beaker is the least precise and least accurate measuring device. We will also notice that the graduated cylinder is more precise and more accurate as compared to the beaker. Finally, we will see that the burette is the most precise and most accurate measuring device used in today's experiment. In part 3, we will see that the mass versus volume graph for water will have a slope that represents density. In part 4, use the density and appearance of your metal to identify the metal from the table showing the densities of common metal.